all that you have done for us, O Lord, you have done with true judgment. For we have sinned against you and not obeyed your commandments. But give glory to your name and deal with us according to your bounty of your mercy. God is good. All the time. And all the time. Asante. To get Kidogo Tafadari. We will request Sister Joyce, who is our host, uh, to come and say a word of welcome, and then from there we start. Peter. led her and taught her and kept her as the upper of his eye like an eagle spreading its wings he took her up and bore her on his shoulders the lord alone was her guide in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit. today we are requested to pray for Teresa Nyabura as she celebrates her birthday today. We pray for the needs of St. Teresa College and St. Teresa Primary as they celebrate their patron saint today as St. Teresa of the Child Jesus. Sari Ntunyari praying for my birthday. Roma Mila Milanoi praying for my birthday. Princess Wagui, praying for my birthday. Elsie, praying for my birthday. I'm praying for the candidates, KCP and Kepsia. Praying for blessings of all pupils and staff. Praying for parents and their needs. Those are the prayer requests, together with those that are still lodged in our hearts 
and some that are so private in our hearts, we keep on thanking God for the gift of uh, each one of us today. We are here, and our hosts are my small friends. Hi, girls. Hi. I came. <laughs> so uh, these girls have been my friends forever, so that's why I came. Uh, to to Ibe, to Obe, na to Kule Keki. Hey. Hey, what? <laughs> so again, the way to Karibuni Sana, Kutoka Muiga, uh, and from uh, up there, our senior girls and boys in college, uh, our gracious sisters who have been joining with these young Kenyans, na wale wagen miyabao wame tuteberea, uh, and all of us. This is a special day, and that is why, uh, being an, an ordinary time, we have white for the vestments because we are celebrating with St. Teresa. This is their patron saint's day, and we thank God. What I was asking about when I to Fuata, he missed a equal life. Uh, so, uh, the parents who are following us from wherever they are in the, uh, the whole world, and everybody following us, so we are requesting for special prayers for the class eight and the grade six. Uh, from all the schools. We are praying for the terminal exams for the, uh, the St. Teresa College and other needs that each one of us has. Today also we shall be able to receive one girl, baptize her. Oh, then we, we receive her and then we give her the confirmation. I guess she's the one who is dressed like a bride. So as a trister. <laughs> we, we will do that. So it's a very special day for all of us. And we thank God for the gift of this day. We shall have a new Christian and we shall have a new convert. We thank God for all that. So together with what we have in our hearts, we take a short moment of silence and ask God for pardon and peace. I confess to the Almighty God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Thank you. 
your kingdom to those who are humble and to little ones, lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Teresa, so that through her intercession we may see your eternal glory revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
somo la kwanza somo katika kitabu cha nabii Ezekiel Bwana asema hivi nyinyi mwasema njia ya Bwana si sawa sikilizeni sasa enyi watu wa nyumba ya Israeli je njia yangu si sawa si zaidi njia zenu zisizo sawa mtu wa haki akiacha haki yake na kutenda maovu na kufa anakufa sababu ya uovu aliyofanya na mtu muovu akiacha uovu aliyotenda na kufanya yaliyo haki na sawa yeye atajipatia uzima ameacha makosa yote aliyokosa hakika ataishi wala hatakufa neno la bwana Zaburi ya kuitikizana E Bwana ukumbuke huruma yako 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 E Bwana ukumbuke huruma yako
Somo la pili. Somo katika barua ya mtakatifu Paulo kwa Wafilipi. Ndugu zangu, kama kuna faraja katika Kristo, kama kuna matulizo ya mapendo, kama kuna kushirikiana roho, kama kuna hisani na huruma, hapo ijazeni furaha yangu, mkiwa na umoja katika mawazo na upendo wenu, na, na kuifuatia shabaha moja kwa moyo mmoja. Msifanye kitu kwa ubishi, wala kwa majivuno, bali mheshimiane kwa unyenyekevu, ninyi kwa ninyi, kujipita wenyewe. Kila mmoja asiangalie faida yake tu, bali angalie pia faida ya wengine. Muwe nao moyo aliokuwa nao Kristo Yesu, ambaye ijapokuwa alikuwa namna ya Mungu, hakuchukulia kwamba kuwa sawa na Mungu lilikuwa jambo la kushikamana nalo, bali alijishusha mwenyewe, akatoa umbo la mtumishi, akawa ana mfano wa wanadamu, na alipoonekana ana umbo la mwanadamu, alijinyenyekeza mwenyewe akawa mti mpaka mauti yani mauti ya msalabani kwa sababu hiyo Mungu alimtukuza akampa jina lipitalo kila jina ili kwa jina la Yesu wote wapige magoti wote walioko mbinguni duniani na kuzimu na kila ulimi, ulimi ukiri kwamba Yesu Kristo ndiye Bwana kwa utukufu wa Mungu Baba neno la Bwana Simameni kwa shangilio Kondoo wangu husikia sauti yangu asema Bwana nami nawajua nao wanifuata haleluya Afterwards, he repented and went. The tax collectors and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. We are reading from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 21. Verses 28 to 32. At that time, Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, What do you think? A man had two sons, and he went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. And he answered, I will not. But afterwards, he repented and went. And he went to the second and said the same. And he answered, I will go, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said, the first. Jesus said to them, truly, I say to you, 
the tax collectors and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the harlots believed him. And even when you saw it, you did not afterwards repent and believe him. The Gospel of our Lord. On the 26th Sunday of Ordinary Time, the church encourages us to reflect on obedience. It is also providential that on this day, we celebrate in a special way our candidates, the class eight and the grade six. And it is the day that we are reminded of our commitment to what we said we will do. Tunapo sema tutalifanya jabo, ni vizuri pia kujiuliza kama tumefuatiria. Tukaliteda na kutimiza na kueza kumarizia vema. Starting is one thing. Ending is another thing altogether. Every time I talk about the grace, the grace to finish well, our class eight are finishing and join the next phase of life in high school. The grade six will join senior secondary, isn't it? Yes, the vision is, yeah? Junior. Alafu? 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 <laughs> we are transiting from one stage to another. So today, I want us to reflect on only three things. We start with the grace of finishing well. And the second one, we reflect on the importance of saying yes and remaining with that yes. And the third one, what this day reminds us from St. Teresa of the Child Jesus. The first one, we'll talk about something called a peg. You know a peg? Peg. Not you a peg. Peg, peg in a Kiswahili. Na Kiswahili. Na muzini daganya mujuni muzi kona wageni. Muzini aibichi ya uku. Peg in a Itwaji. In a Itwa peg itwe. Ay, agi ina. <laughs> How do you call a peg? What do you call a peg in Kiswahili? Peggy, na itwaji. Itwa Peggy. Ala. Let's just use our idigani. Hiya, sawa. Let us just say peg. Na itwa two peg. Easy to to zikuwe na stress. See you. We avoid depression for nothing. Asante. So when do we use a peg? Hanging. Why do we hang them? Konitu nazi hang. 
kwa sababu tumefanya nini tumeziosha si ndio so then we can conclude one thing that the peg is part of the finished product tunatumia peg kazi inapokamilika because tuliokota guo tukaziosha tukaziosha tena kuosha na kulins ni kusema nini tukaosha tukakamula eh hii safa hii akiwe kidenyi ni waongo tu kususu hey kusugua kusuza oh <laughs> Sasa tunaosha alafu tunasu Alafu tunafanya nini? Tunaanika. Alafu tukianika? Eh? Ni after ni after kuosha abapo tunaweza weka ile peg and then nguo zina zinakauka zikikauka tunaanua tukianua tukikuja tukiweka tukiva tukivua tunaosha oh sasa nataka nataka tuongee juu ya peg. Peg iko na three letters. Iko na P, na E, na G. Sasa P kwa peg tunapoongea mambo ya ukiandika kama acronym, awandike P na E na G inasema mambo matatu. P ni positioning, positioning. Vili abavyo tumeji position venye tumeji position kuweza tumeji position kuweza kuweza kufanya kitu ili nione pale nje lazima nisimame hivi kwamba i'm able to see outside mpaka huko karibu na 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 printing press Now who is the who is the tallest do we have a tallest teacher here yeah. Mwalimu mrefu zaidi yako wapi hii dunia yeah. Anaitwa nani yeah. Eh Misa uko wapi Wapi uwe mwalimu wapi uwe mwalimu mrefu Hayuko Nasema wenye wako hapa Kutoka Saint Teresa ama hapa kwetu kama we ni mwalimu na ni mrefu simama tafadhali eh, that, that gentleman at the, at the back yes you come 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 the guy at the, yes eh, no this one yes come 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 wait 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 no yes 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 come Now if I come 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 here. Now this gentleman when I am talking to this gentleman uh namuonyesha nje ili aweze akaona pale nje vizuri. I don't have to struggle because I am sure although he's a bit short. <laughs> But uh, this gentleman is seeing what I am seeing. Is it it? Haya. Now I want to who who is the tiniest girl in Saint Teresa? Come. Haya, ule. Unaona aga katoto size ya mkate? Sasa nikiongea niki na haa katoto eh sasa nataka tuogee 
Unaona kananiangalia kama kanaangalia biguni. But if I have to talk to say something with this girl, I must first make sure that what she is seeing I am seeing. So for me to talk to her, I need to position myself such that I can see what she is seeing. And positioning means when she's sitting there, then I have to kneel down to position myself. <laughs> hey. And when I am kneeling down, I'm still tall. Isn't it? So now I am almost, if I tell her to, shoot, uh, to check there, she can see, I know that now she is seeing because I can see what she is seeing. For me to be able to see what she sees, I position myself. I'm able to see the, the door. I'm able to see out there. I am able to see what she is seeing. Now, if I was standing, there is a possibility that I will not see what this girl sees because her position and my position is different. Her position and his position are different. In terms of the expanse, urev kwenye wataona, itakuwa different wakiwa wote wawili. Now, this is exactly what I mean by positioning. Many a times we miss, thank you, thank you, please sit, please sit. Clap for them. <laughs> Many a times when our girls and our boys come to finish school, one thing that is disturbing our candidates is the position they stand. And there is the emotional position, there is the physical position, which is not compromised, and then there is the psychological positioning. Largely, the psychological positioning is affected, largely, is affected by our thoughts outside the school. Because maybe a girl is about to sit for her exam and she is still thinking about home. Maybe mom is sick. Maybe dad was unwell. Maybe wazazi hawaku wanasikizana vizuri. And now she is in school, but she is uh, psychologically disturbed. Her positioning to finish becomes compromised. Now, kuna igine abayo... Uh, in the same, uh, when you talk about the, the, the positioning, again now, uh, in the social positioning, uh, the, the, the stand that the girls take, uh, and they, our, our boys, those who are finishing uh, in the last years, unaona watoto wakiedrea kumaliza shure, ukora ni kama unakuwa mwigi kiasi. And you know the opposite. The opposite should be the case. Wakora, or the noisiest class should be class, uh, grade four, isn't it? Noisiest, because they are small. No, I'm just saying. Followed by five. Then six. Then seven. And the class that is the quietest... Quiet and well-disciplined is class eight. Sasa, sasa shida kubo wa nikuaba, in most schools, sasa wakora ni hawa tuarefu. Unaona class eight wana, wana piga kerele sana, E, wanabule wegine because after all wanamaliza sawa ni mabazu ala <laughs> that is that is poor positioning in many schools when our classes are finishing and our form fours are finishing tuko na kasaj inaitwa saj 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 ni saj okay fine um, we have the surge of crime some bad things happen, and then we are told that, okay, uh, when they search, zinaogezeka sana, kwa sababu watu wakalazita na watu wafon four, uh, hawajakua uh, watifu kalisa. That is wrong. And that affects our finishing strong. Unapata msichana, amekua mzuri all through. Lakini now to add kufanya exam, walimu hawajui kuliedaje. Ata mwenye hawajui kuliedaje. 
Unamuliza utipata max gapi? 3.15. 3.15. And all along you had 400. Amin zi kuliedaje, maybe there was some poor positioning. That is one thing that we need to reflect on, our class 8 and our grade, grade 6. The second one is the E. E stands for expectations. Expectations. Sometimes we, we have expectations that are not real. Dear girls and boys, whatever you expect in life, please put it on the scale of reality. Please, please. If you usijipatie stress na unajua level yako, kila mtu anajijua. Na hata wazazi wako wanakujua. Ili usijipatie pressure, unasema mimi, mimi na nimemwambia Mungu kabisa 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 nipate 430. 430 yangu tu. 430 yangu. Na unasema 430 and the last time you got 300, ilikuwa by mistake. <laughs> na unagojea 430. Where you, you range between 250 and 264. Hapana. Alafu nasema, sasa mina naoba, nipata ka 430 yagu, ni yede Midhill, ama Kenya High. Kenya High na 219. How now? Na how so me? Wewe ni mkora shule. Kerele. Na kusubua wegine. You have expectations that are not real. Dear girls, part of the reasons why they are so people who are so depressed in this world is expectations that are based on fantasy. Everybody would want something good. All of us. Kila mtu wakitaka kitu kizuri. Lakini vizuri kujiuliza, nataka kitu kizuri. Lakini, is my effort commensurate? My effort. Where is my effort? Ni kama mtoto wakuabie, ako high school. Anakuabie mimi father, nataka kuwa daktari. Kwanza, wale daktari serious. Now you Dr. Adesidius, biology, D+. Plus. <laughs> Chemistry, E-. minus. <laughs> Mathematics, E times. <laughs> and then, which one, uh, the chemistry? Uh, this is the chemistry. <laughs> Physics. Hey, so I'm going to say, you can be a Dr. Chemistry and Biology. Si ada daktari wapanya lazima awe ya meesoma hizo. <laughs> <laughs> na unajipatia pressure, unajiabia, na unajua maybe your competence is in another area. And this is important for all of us. Please don't please your expectations where, the, where reality is not. We jiagari yetu. Na gari ya kwenye unaelekea. Uwezu kasema nita, nitapitia hapa, na labda we mwenyewe kabisa kabisa umepotoka. The last one is G. G is gratitude. Gratitude. We call it gratitude attitude. G-A. I have taught these girls for the time and times I've been since I, 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 I joined here. The importance of saying thank you at the end. At the end. And I still hope that they are remembering that Mukimari is a class 8. Please make sure that there is a card. Card moja. Mwadike museme asante kwa walimu. Mzazi mwenye atakukujia. Vietu ya mama ya dad. Mwadike mtubaiye kad. Jaza kasa molo pepa. Mwadike dad. Asante kwa kunipia school fees. Ama mamu. Asante kwa kunipia school fees. Just that. Just that. Just that. Just that. But learn to say thank you. Learn to say thank you. Even to people who may not have met your expectations. But they did their best. Sometimes you may be able to blame your mom or your dad for the fiasco at home, whatever may have happened, but don't mind. And I have told you, every time you see your parents struggling, please leave them to struggle in their marriage. And don't be part of their problem. And they know how to solve it. Usibebe mzigo about siyo wako, tafadhali. Usibebe mzigo about siyo wako. Your mom and your dad, surely they know how to solve their problems. And that is why, even as they struggle, well, go to shure. Maybe school visa ijaisha, or maybe imeisha, or maybe, or just maybe. But learn to say thank you all the time. Say thank you to the people that we forget. We forget our cooks. We forget our matrons. We forget our... 
men and the women at the gate learn to say thank you even to the socially small. Socially small, ni wale watu wabao labda siyowegi. And I have trained even the, 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 big, the big students. And even when you start driving, and even those of you who drive, kama kuna mtu atakufugulia gate, before utoke, chukisha kiyo, alafu useme, thank you. Just that. Chukisha useme, thank you. Just that. Unaporudi, ukifuguliwa, the same say, thank you. It is important. Ukieda, ukiwa served, whatever you go and then you are served, just say, when we learn to say thank you, we understand the value of the value of sacrifice. Value of sacrifice. Because someone who has taken through you, you through a journey, then you must admit that uh, they must have had some sacrifice and something that they have done. If that can be done, then we can see finally then we can we are able to finish strong. And if we say that, then we are good to say that yes, we can finish strong. We have been called for that. Dear girls, our class eight, don't just finish, but please finish strong. Don't just finish, but finish strong. And finishing strong is making sure you have not left regrets behind. Namtakapo toka, utasema asanti. Then you start another phase of life like that. And it is not about school. It is about life. Hata katika maisha yetu. Tumalizie vizuri. Bibi inatuwabia, kuna wale ya bao, watamalizia, na wasiwone uso wabwana. Na kuna wale watamalizia, na wakawona uso wabwana. That even the resurrection, they will resurrect to damnation. And others to life eternal. How I would pray that ours will be resurrection to life eternal. That we did not just we did not just hustle through life, but we have achieved something, and now we are standing strong. Shule to Marisa Vizuri. Nahata Maisha Yetu to Marisa Vizuri. My point number two: it is about the consequences of lack of obedience consequences of lack of obedience we do not have any other responsibility on earth apart from saying i will do it in the past one week just this week there is a a fellow who was brought in my office, a young man, mwenye hatake kusoma. A young man, akona wazazi, wanalipa school fees, na hatake kusoma. One day after, a girl came to my office. Na kaniyabia father, mimi sina wazazi. Nisoma, nipata A minus, Nimeadimitiwa university, sina mtu wakunisomesha. Now, I looked at those two cases. In one case, someone is ready, alipe school fees. Lakini mtoto, anafanya juchini, atoke kwa shule. Mwigine, anafanya juchini, aigie shule. And it is very sad, wakati wazazi wanatupereka shule, Na wazazi wakitupereka shure, then wazazi wanaedelea kukuja shure because kuna kesi. That is so wrong. Mzazi alipe school fees, na katikati ya tamu, akuje tena kwa zabu kuna kesi. That is being unfair. Na ni kesi ya nini for the college students? Ni kesi ya nini? Sneaking. 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 Sneaking ni kupotea. Kupotea ukiwa pahari confined. Nito wa sneaking. Iyo ni watu wa college. Wana sneak. Ana sneak kwe danje. 
na koshure for 10 weeks alafu afuge shure for 2 weeks and not 2 months mwezi wote wa 11 na december wako nyumbani na mkora ako na nguvu ya kusneak sneaking mzazi anakuja ku discuss sneaking hapo mnaona kama kuna kashida kidogo si kidogo ni kubwa si ndio how do you sneak uh, and um mzazi anakuja shule muogee venye ulitoka shule na uzinike kwenda wapi ulieda tu kujibijari si tasema because kuna watoto wadogo hapa lakini nilikuwa nataka kuchoma nikanyamaza uko college una sneak mzazi anaitwa na amelipa school fees Mkini hapa mzazi ameitwa kwa sababu ndoto wamepigana. Kuna vita. Watu mmepigana sasa sasa mzazi anaitwa. Sasa wazazi watalipa school fees ama watakuja shule kufuatilia makesi. That is not right. Dear students, young as you are. Please remember. Please remember. Some of the things you are doing now, young as you are, they will follow you later. Na unajua sisi tunaweza tukasahau kwa sababu tumekuona ukichange. Lakini kuna dunia inakujua venye ulikuwa mbaya. And what happens if things are not working out well on your on your favor? Tunasema eh alivujika mguu akisneak. Hebu dianiabieni ukeda hospitali kuona mwanafunzi amenazwa hospitali na amevujikia mguu kahulia. Sinaona karibu uje hiyo ingine. Mtu akivujikia mguu kahuri kama alikuwa amesneak. Aya de hospitali ukienda kumuona beba rugu. Si food. Vuja hiyo ingine. Ili akae na bills zimevujika. Ili awe akose nguvu ya kusneak. Si hapo niko na point. <laughs> but dear students, it can't be right. Mzazi anajisubua kutafuta school fees ikipatikana anajisubua kutafuta fees ya kuja kesi ya discipline hapana in discipline hapana hapana tulisema yes tutaenda kwa masomo tukienda kwa masomo tuseme yes na tusome that is exactly what we need tulisema yes tumeletwa shule school fees imelipwa walimu wapo wengine wanasomesha wanasomesha mpaka usiku hawalali wanajitolea please give each one of those people their due time wa kusav but what do we need and this is my third point what do we need and the greatest lesson we learn from saint teresa the greatest apart from holiness and prayer which are two of the the greatest lessons of the teresa uh, seeking holiness and uh, prayer life there is one thing that is important and i want to talk to you dear girls and our young men learn to run after jesus running after jesus every day of your life run after jesus when you run after jesus uta utakata kubeba mizigo abayo haitakikani when you learn to run after Jesus, his kesi nyingi za indiscipline hazitakuepo. When you learn to run after Jesus, mapo ya masomo haitashidikana kwa nini? Kwa sababu you know how to communicate with your master. You know how we pray for exams. Mungu atusaidie. But you see we need to ask ourselves, am I where I'm supposed to be? Tuki tunapocherekea siku kuu ya mtakatifu Teresa anatukubusha even in our youth and the tiny ones who have who are not become youth kila mmoja wetu wazazi wetu watawa wetu na mapadre wetu na kila mmoja wetu we must educate ourselves what it means to run after jesus running after jesus means that we will never be accused that we never did what we vowed to do no please Kama tulipelekwa shule tutasoma na tutamaliza. Tulisema yes kwa masomo. 
Watawa wetu ni mapadre wetu wakasema yes kumtumikia Mungu. We do that. Wazazi wetu wakasema yes kwa doa the same. Walimu wetu na wafanyikazi wetu wakasema yes nimekubali hii kazi na nitaifanya. Hauwezi ukapewa kazi na serikali na ufanyi. Amwepewa kazi na shule lakini kila wakati mwajiri wako anakufuata. It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. Our yes must always be a yes. Our yes must always be yes. Now ujue this world is full of contradictions. The reason why we must be able to stick to what we are doing because you find yourself you are doing so much at least you upate na na, na upite exam. Mwingine anafanya juu chini kutosoma. Remember wherever you are whatever you are doing you are always an inspiration to someone whatever you are and i have, think i have told you this in the past sometimes even when you think that you are struggling there is someone who is admiring you how i wish i can be like her na labda unajichukia because maybe what you have i am admiring it i may not be able to get it but you can't appreciate it someone else is working so hard to get where you are we must learn to appreciate ourselves and what we have we hold it dear and we protect it that is how we make it in life and always know that even in your grimmest even when in your most excruciating pain and hopelessness and frustration there is someone somewhere who is saying i admire her i admire him what you have could be a talent maybe something but someone looks at you and is happy how i would pray that we can inspire people with what we have and what we are doing it is important and if you think that uh, nobody notices what you have wait until people talk about you and they see how they are happy maybe how you sing uh, you are you are you are vocals maybe everything 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 it's good to know that there is someone who would want to be you maybe they will never be because now you are you in the yes of your you please live the life of your yes once upon a time a man was so unhappy with his life and therefore he decided that enough was enough he got married and god gave them four sons the four sons behaved like the the second son they became they became social misfits social misfits ni a prudent way of saying that they were criminals a social misfit is someone who is never accepted in the society so all the four sons wamezugusha huyu mzee wamemzugusha wamemzugusha ameaibika wameiba kule wamekibiza watu wa wenyewe all manner of crimes wamevuta bagi wamekunywa pombe wana misbehave mzee akasema enough is enough so one day one afternoon he went to the forest carrying a rope akasema leo ndio nitajiua akaidia pale kwa kichaka na akatengeneza nus nus ni kale kanini kakujinyonga kitwa nus akatengeneza vizuri ili aigie aende akiedaga as he was preparing the rope to commit suicide to kill himself he saw another man doing the same and he got the courage to ask him what are you doing and the man there told him asked him what are you doing yourself eh hey, akamwambia mimi nimekuja hapa kukufa nilizaa watoto mugu alinipatia watoto wanne wamenisubua wamenisubua nimeaibika dunia yote nimekuja kukufa sawi na kana kamuisa nayo kwa nini unakufa kamwambia mimi nilioa na nimeoa for 17 years tumetafuta mtoto na bibi yangu tumekosa 
tumeaibika juu ya kukosa watoto. Mimi nikafika pale nikaona sitaaibika tena. Wacha nikuje hapa mimi niende. Hey. So this man akauliza mimi ninajiua juu ya watoto. Huyu naye anajiua juu ya kukosa watoto. Waka decide kuwa to have a conversation. Dio wakatoka juu ya miti. I think wakafugua. I, I think wakafugua WhatsApp group. Wakaona kuna kaujika fulani hapo. Mmoja anakona watoto anakufa juu ya watoto. Mwingine hana watoto anakufa juu ya kukosa watoto. Dear good people that is how life is. And life can be that frustrating. Appreciate where you are and what you have. But most importantly, please be diligent in what you are doing today. Don't be happy when your teachers spend so many time, so many hours discussing your indiscipline. Do not be happy when your mom or your dad are coming to school all the time to talk about um, how, how indisciplined you are. Appreciate what you have. And as I have told you, do not be like those who become suicidal because they have, or those who become suicidal because they do not have. When one is wishing as if I, I, never, I never got children, the other one is praying, I wish I got them. No, please. No, 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 no. But the solution is only one. And the Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus gives us the solution of a happy life. The solution of a happy life. Dear young boys, our tiny girls, and our teachers, and our sisters, and everyone, the solution of a happy life is consistently and constantly running after Jesus. We will never be um, disappointed when we run after Jesus. If you get married, get married and don't look back. Run after Jesus. There are two things that many a times affect our progress. One is the mistake that we made in the past. That affects. It doesn't matter whatever you did. The past belongs to the past. The other enemy that can affect our progress is the achievements we had in the past. I used to be a good student. Not anymore. What happened? No. Don't count them. I was a good student in class 5 and class 6. Right now I'm struggling. Maybe I'm wrong. my dear. Don't think about it that way. Look at your life as someone who wants to make it in life. And you will make it in life. Refuse. Refuse to be convinced that you can't make it. Refuse. Useme mimi, hata kama I'm struggling, I will consistently run after Jesus. I'll never miss it. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Dear girls, today I pray for you as we celebrate this day. The class eight, may success be the only thing you will know in life. And may you live a life that you never regret. If you have made any mistake, don't look back. When you are, when you are looking forward, you, your life becomes a progress. The same to our grade six. And all the children in this hall, I mean this church, all the students from the college, from... Uh, the Academy in Muiga, St. Teresa Academy, uh, St. Teresa, Hapa Kwetu, and everybody. Please let us work for progress. Let us run after Jesus. Running after Jesus, we cannot miss anything. Dear our children, pray for your parents. Pray for them that they too will not get unnecessarily worried. That all of us as families can learn to run after Jesus. As schools, we can learn to run after Jesus. As a church, we can learn to run after Jesus. As a nation, we can learn to run after Jesus. Now we will solve so many problems. How I would wish that the joy I am seeing with you today may be the joy that surrounds your life all the days of your life. Thank you. Keep enjoying this feast.
Haya. Ni wakati wa kumpokea mtoto wetu. Karibu tafadhali na msimamizi wako kama ako hai. Good. I request that we all stand and uh, we join her in the profession of faith. <clears throat> So this, the, the, the renewal of baptismal promises, I will be asking her, but I'm asking the whole congregation, so kindly you respond together with her. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty show? Yes, I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Yes, I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Yes, I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who came upon the apostles at Pentecost, and today is given to you sacramentally in confirmation? Yes, do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Yes, I do. To you and the congregation, this is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Say amen. Amen. I sit down. My dear friends, in baptism, God our Father gave the new birth of eternal life to his chosen sons and daughters. Let us pray to our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit to strengthen his daughter with his gifts and anoint her to be more like Christ, the Son of God. At this point, I request that uh, in the silence of our heart, we say a prayer for this girl. All powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by the water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and give them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon your daughter to be her helper and guide. Give her the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill her with a spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we do the anointing with the chrism. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Say amen. amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Thank you. 
uh, at this point, we want to confirm to you that our daughter is finally one of us and she is confirmed in the Sacrament of Holy Confirmation. Tumpigia Makovi Tafadhali. Thank you. Nataka Kusema Santi kwa this testimony. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for joining your daughter on this very beautiful day. I want to thank t uh, Sister Grace uh, for your motherly journey with this girl. And now we have our peer, Wamem Fuza Catechism, uh, the sister who took her through, and the other catechists, and everybody who has contributed in making this our daughter uh, a full member of the church and a soldier. Now you become a soldier of Christ. And soldiers fight for standing. So you go to church all the time, even at home. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, the mother is not confirmed, or she will be confirmed before Jesus comes again. No, thank you, mom. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. At least to manage your mom here. Thank you. Uh, I'm so happy when I see young ones uh, go to church. Keep running after Jesus. You and your mom and your village and everyone. <laughs> We continue with the uh, okay.
friends that my sacrifice in us may be acceptable to god the almighty father amen and let us pray as we proclaim your word as in saint teresa o oh lord we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits were pleasing to you so to our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from the unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this gift we have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and giving you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the charities to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the charities of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Tutagaze fuboku la imani. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the dead O Lord until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with the elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we derive for unfading help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Francis, our Pope, Muhedia Anthony, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you in your compassion. O oh, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him. O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We continue to thank God for the gift of our candidates, both in class 8 and grade 6, for the gift of all our children from all levels, the gift of our teachers, our dear sisters, for the work that they do, for those who have their birthdays today, for the gift of our parents. Now, at water, we have a gem about katika masomo ya hawa watoto. Let's do our prayers using the words our Savior taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Away the sins of the world, happy are we invited to his holy banquet. 
The body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Oh my God, I'm actually sorry for having offended you, and I detest all my sins because of their just punishments, but most of all because they offend you. My God, who are not great, serving upon my love. I family so with the help of your grace to see no more and to the confession of sin. My Jesus, I believe that your presence the most to the sacraments. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive into my soul, in communion with you, and attain eternal salvation. Amen.
Christ will embrace me. Watch out from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, gentle me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your own side, me. Let me never be separated from you. From the evil enemy, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me. In your presence, lead me. To praise you, Lord, your saints. Because I am. 
says the Lord, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, kindle in us the force of that love with which St. Teresa dedicated herself to you and longed to obtain your mercy for all through Christ our Lord. Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. He's the best and that is his nature and his heart of love. I can see smiles. I can see the joy is still there. Is it? Yes. Yeah. This is the first part of our celebration. The celebration of the Eucharist led by our minister, Father Siken. We are group. We are happy, we are nourished. I know each one of us has carried something. Yes. Yes. Now, what I want to do is that uh, we have visitors who have come to join us. We have some members of Red Cross. And I would like, you know, we are, we are partners or we participate in a way with the Red Cross. The other day they came to give certificates to those who had won in competition. And therefore they came to join us. I would like to welcome one of them to introduce himself. May he come forward. Clap on him and he come. Thank you so much. Uh, good morning to us. Good morning, sir. God is good. All the time. And all the time. He's the best and that is his nature and his house of love. Thank you so much. Uh, by name, I'm Ndegio uh, Dwood. I'm a member of the Kenyan Red Cross Society in the branch. And I'm here on behalf of the branch to represent uh, the regional coordinator. Uh, so today is your day of celebration or feast, which is a good thing. We are told that we are one body. We are one body in Christ, and that we believe in Him, and then we are able to save for. Now I want to believe that we have candidates here, both for class eight and grade six. Ours is to wish you all the best, and to recognize the partnership that you have given us over time. And you've been a, a great part of the body, the greater body. And now we'd love to say this that it doesn't end here, it only starts here. And when we go beyond that, that is after primary school, after junior secondary, there's life after here, and there's life after school. That is why the Kenyan Red Cross Society would have to tell you that take the message home to your parents, to your congregants, and to everyone else that we are out there impacting lives. Because our tagline says we are always there, always there to save lives, always there to give the best of the society. Thank you so much for the invitation. You called us to be honored. Thank you.
Falta CK, Tita, Ángel Carlos, Santiosa, Tita James, Resista, Príncipe de College, Santa Teresa, Diana Sisters, Fellow Christians, and our dear students. I'm Jambo. I'm Jambo. I'm Jambo. Happy Feast Day. Happy Feast Day. Actually, I'm celebrating this feast with you because I'm also Teresa. We call me Teresa. And I'm very, very happy to be celebrating this day with you today. And congratulating one of you who became part of us. Congratulations. Now, I have a few words and one on behalf of the management board of the Teresa. I belong to that board and I know Mr. Joseph who is our chair would have loved to be here and celebrate this feast. And on behalf of him and the other members, I do wish you a beautiful feast day today, as well as congratulating the candidates and wishing them well. <laughs> wow. Then, to on behalf of the hospital, Father Director, Father Defu, and the other members of management, together with all the staff, we want also to wish you a present this day to both the college and the St. Lisa girls. And we want also to wish the candidates again a beautiful working as they work towards their success. So we wish you well too. Wow, again. Then, <laughs> now, final one on behalf of this chaplaincy where we all belong, yourselves and I, and on behalf of our Father Chaplain, Father Okitonga, and also the coordinator, Lisa Moses, who is not here with us, and all the Christians who worship here, together with Sister Leonela Medical College, who work very closely with us, we also want to wish you a great feast and a great success to you who are here from Wiga, from um, St. Teresa Girls, and from the college St. Teresa. Anyone who is going to do any exam at this time, we in the chaplaincy promise you our continuous prayers. We we'll continue praying for you and working with you and journeying with you. And we want to thank you very, very much for you have been, especially the girls at the college there, you have been part of us in this prayer um, chapel, and you have been part of us in making sure that our chapel looks beautiful. You can see from the sides, you can see both sides, and you can see the lighting now is much better. So thank you very much for your contribution to our peace in this chapel. May God continue blessing you. May you continue standing strong. And may Father's words today, the pen, PEG, PEG, positioning, and always journey with you. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Thank you.
have a history. Next, I invite Sister Caroline, the principal of Mary Immaculate Academy. Class for half an infant. God is good. All the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We thank God and in a very special way being in this chapel to celebrate with the same presence in this great occasion of your patron saint, Saint Teresa. Thank you, Sister Joyce, for inviting us here as Mary Magnet Academy, your sister school from Wiga. We have our boys and girls uh, who are in class eight, the greeting class. Uh, sometimes back, we used to share the name Mary Magnet Academy girls, but these days we graduate. Now we are mixed day and morning. Okay, yes. yeah, so we are gathered here as we thank God for your feast, St. Teresa of the Little Wings, St. Teresa who did ordinary things in an extraordinary, yes. in an ordinary way. So you as little girls and boys, and also the young men and women, of St. Teresa's uh, business uh, institution, you are all emulating this little girl in which your ordinary ways that you do every day, you have to do it in a, an extraordinary way for you to be able to please God. We have been told we need to constantly and consistently run after Jesus. Run after Jesus. Lastly, like Professor Ongari Mazai, we know that she is somebody whom we always emulate and we always support, especially because of the environment, isn't it? Yeah, she was able to win the Nobel Prize. And she made an indelible mark not only in Kenya, not only in Africa, but also in the whole world. She was and she remains a daughter of the motherland Kenya. Also for you, you are here as young girls, young boys. In future, you have these role models. You have St. Teresa, we have our mother Mary, and also we have these others whom you have to emulate, especially as you move on with your education. And one thing that we learned from Professor Wangare Matai, she was not there to wait for solutions. She became the solution. She became the solution. Yeah, so that is also what I'm leaving you with. Our dear candidates of St. Teresa, our candidates of Mary Margaret Academy, don't be there waiting for solutions from others. Be the solution. Just like the story of the hummingbird. In the forest, there was a fierce fire. This hummingbird, as little as it was, was able to say, what can I do? Because our habitats are being destroyed. And then it started going to the river Picking with a small, with this tiny big water to put off the fierce fire. The other big animals, like we talk of the big five, where do they stay? You meet them in the forest, isn't it? They could watch from far and laughing at this hummingbird. How is it possible that you could be able to put this 
fierce fire off. So they were laughing from a distance. But the hummingbird said, I only did my best. I could try to do my best to see whether I can put off these fears. Also, in your whichever way, you can be able to put off these fears. Fire. Be an answer to your problem. Your assistance, be a solution. Be compassionate to your dream and decision. And at the end of it, you'll be able to embrace challenges and be strong. I wish you well. I wish you blessings. Thank you. Now we invite the chief principal, Saint Teresa for Marshall Follow. Welcome, Hand the Clap. God is good. Jesus. So thank you very much. But I say thank you for this. Yeah, we have been missing you, especially your home. Uh, you know very well how we love you, and especially after. So thank you very much. And Sister Joyce also thank you for inviting us in this great day as we celebrate our patron day. Thank you. Yes. What is the children? The child Jesus. Yes, the of the child Jesus. So we want to thank God this day, and especially for the gift of Father CK, who have really, really reminded us of many, many good things. Father, I didn't know that my past had just affected my success in that big way. So thank you very much for that. And I just want to mention two things about the Pisa. Uh, that we pray God that this day we've been in a novena for how many days? Nine. Have you followed the novena? Yes. From the whole day nine. Yes. Uh, so we believe that the Pisa will bless us with many, many roses today. And especially, she will help us through her intercession. And God will give us the gift of humility and the gift of simplicity. Yes. Yeah, because these are the questions that the data did from the day one to the last day. This the data died at how many years? 24. Very young lady, and she could live and long only to be for God. He could always say that I wish to spend by heaven doing. Yes, that is very true. And also, since data believed in. Recognizing all her weaknesses and taking them to God, as well as recognizing all her strengths and thanking God for them. That's our. So today, Father has reminded us that we are the name.
What do you expect? Yes? Of course, you expect to be taken to commit the prison or the law or Huh? Now listen, listen. If you position yourself as a... Uh, what? A magic battle. What will happen? You are taken to? Nazareth. Nazareth, is it? Yeah. Yes. If you position yourself to be a good Christian, of course, we expect you to? If you are living saved, is it? Yeah. And we put your expectations as deep. Therefore, make sure you position yourself well. Concentrate. If you position yourself uh, as a person who is a uh, uh -huh. You will feel like that. I like can see the game coming. Yeah, we can even start singing for it. In the cave, it's your time. In the cave, it's your time. In the cave, it's your time. In the cave,
Hallo. 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 Are you there? Yes. That is good. I know with this is here. There is something that has happened. And that is, you have already started And if I take much time here, we'll start cursing me. I don't know what. Yeah, so uh, we have this cake, and not only cake, but beautiful, well decorated, and it has stairs. How many stairs? I uh, start counting. Clap for our dear father, Jesus. Thank you. And also, we have another one here. Uh, I think I'll call the, the governor, the president of St. Prison. Please come and drink for us the message here. This is your message from Father CK. Uh, I wish you just read what is written there. Saint Teresa, pray for us. Happy Feast of Saint Jesus. Saint Jesus, is that the only? Shout that you have to appreciate our faith. Yeah, so we appreciate our dear Father CK for this great gesture. We are always told that when you have promised, you have brought to fulfill, isn't it? Has he done so? What do you say to him? Yeah. Yeah, so we have a representation here, and also I wish to call the youngest girl around from St. Prison. A gent and a lady from St. Prison Business Institute. You share the name. Please come forward so that, you know, when we deal with young children, when this thing come here in the front, uh, they want it to be done immediately. So please, two gen, uh, one gen and a, a lady from St. Teresa. We have a lady here. Sister Rosemary. Sister Rosemary, please come forward. Madam Teresa from Consolata, please come. And one pupil from Mary Magdalene Academy, Mary Wadia, please. Our Francis, yeah, Francis. Francis and Mary Wadia, come. Yeah, so please come here so that you may cut this cake. And Sister Jane from St. Teresa's. Sister Jane, thank you. And I'm in Toronto. And I have to represent St. Teresa's girls. Okay, Sister Priscilla, don't get tired when I call you again here. Sister Priscilla. Yeah, so now we take the knife. The St. Teresa's be here, please, as we take the knife. And also, in a very special way, how can we cut a cake without the, the person who brought it? Please, Father. Be here at the center. Let us clap for him as we come here at the center. Are you there? 
So as they can, because these are representation of love, little ways of St. Teresa. One, two, three. <laughs> And we need to cut in a very, very uh, good way as a Teresa. Just see the, the flowers, the roses. Continue clapping, Amanda. <laughs> done a great job of cutting the cake. So we say Father CK is doing what is necessary so that he can share this cake. But before you share Father CK, I request the principal junior school and primary of St. Teresa is you are the host, uh, let Father I am. We continue singing. Choir, please. <laughs> Come on, get on this one. So, my dear, I'm not here. Okay, so for the TK, you for that. Okay, so we request uh, the little girl. The bride of Christ, fully confirmed and a soldier. Uh -huh, another shout. Uh -huh. uh, Madame from St. Trin, from Mongolata. Uh-huh, 
since the stream, uh, the stream's over, it's now remaining you are. So you just stream, and then uh, after the final blessing, we'll be able to receive ours. Am I just? Nico just? Yes. Yeah, so we appreciate them as we go to their seats, as we also appreciate you. <laughs> we have a very special way of appreciating for that we take. Uh, I want to give a program on how we what we shall do after this. The cake we shall eat later at school. Okay? Yes. Everybody will get because you know from here after the final blessing we shall go in a procession carrying St. Jesus singing up to where we have St. Jesus brought up. We do our singing or the songs of St. Jesus. Then Father will bless us there. Is that clear? Yes. yes. Then after that, we shall continue singing as good as being served. And then we enjoy ourselves. We entertain ourselves. And we do everything we want. This is our day. Yes. The things that get us not only head after eating. We continue with our entertainment, with our fashion show, with our <laughs> Therefore, this is our day till evening. Until we get tired. Are we together? So the day is ours and whatever I have has been prepared. Therefore, I give back the mic to Father so that after this, we are ready to have the dancers of the Kua Pere Karen, St. Jesus' portrait. Then we will be fast forward like that. We will keep singing all of us. And make sure you celebrate. She has that joy with St. Jesus. I know she can see that even in heaven. Thank you. Thank you so much. Allow me to say thank you. Thank you, sister. Kwaya uh, yetu, tuwapigie makofi, wameiba vizuri sana. Asante. And... Uh, our beautiful girls who danced with Pierre Makofi. And uh, there, is one, there is one gentleman I want to recognize. Uh, it is not easy to dance alone amidst 400 girls. So, Sima uh, Matafadadi, there's a gentleman there from St. Teresa. You. Yes, you. That guy is a very good dancer. Very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, when I used to go to St. Teresa, I knew that I would find him dancing. And he never shies away from dancing. Uh, he has a few other friends. We had requested that he, they could be uh, dancing with him. We pray for their knees that they can start working. When you so much, we have to give you a coffee to uh, there, is a, there is a couple I want to recognize. Uh, Patrick and Mrs. Patrick and your small Patrick. Uh, the, cake, the, the cake that has a, a card of, of St. Teresa has been donated by that gracious lady and her husband. So we say thank you, Asante Nisana, for the gift. So thank you, thank you so much, dear girls. Thank you so much for this day. Thank you, our crew, for the work that you're doing now. We have the final, oh, thank you. Thank you, our candidates. Thank you for accepting to, to take the journey of faith. Thank you, mom, uh, the mother to the candidate, Asante, for, 
for uh, accompanying your daughter. Uh, the rest of the things I will tell you to Kifika Paris deal. Oh, to see my father. For our altar servers, I had forgotten. Our altar servers, we clap for them, please. Thank you. Bwana awe nanyi. Wabariki mugu mwenyezi, baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu. We go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Our mass is ended. Have a blessed day and a happy feast.